Do you see that? This guy's six pack are not his. He underwent an ab transplant surgery like a breast silicone implants, but to his abs. But what is this surgery? What are the complications that can occur? And is that the new revolution in the fitness industry? Even Adam the six pack Leon. Watch till the end. Let's begin. What's up guys, welcome to your fitness pal, six pack. The superficial muscle that sits here on this surface is called rectus abdominis, our six pack. What makes it look like a square is the line in the middle which is called linea alba, which is literally a white line and crosswise we have these fibrous bands that are called tendinous intersections. That plus that equals a square. And before all of that, our happiness has also been squared due to our new 200 subs milestone. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, at the study. A review paper that analyzed a lot of cadavers that donated their body to science, of course, found that on average, most cadavers had three tendon lines, which means that most of us probably have an eight pack, but there are people with a 12 pack and others with only six. It's not something that can be changed. But what can we change? So do you see this? Not too long ago, we saw a news article on the six pack guy, a guy that those abs that you're now seeing are not his. Those are implants, meaning he underwent a surgery in which inside each of these pockets between two of these lines there are silicone implants but what could possibly go wrong what kind of a surgery is this and should you schedule an appointment already this week pay attention so the guy that underwent the surgery is not the only one it's a very very popular procedure go ahead and twist for me twist really hard but act like natural muscle. But the surgery itself is pretty new. For example, six years ago, there wasn't much information about this surgery and therefore not a lot of studies on the topic. This article is among very few others and it describes anatomically what the procedure really is. So what is the procedure really? Just a moment. How many layers do we even need to get through until we even reach the abs? Where do they insert the implants? And why eventually it can even look like that? <laughs> Pay attention. So in the first layer we have the skin, which is also made out of two layers. The epidermis and the dermis. Epi means above. After these two layers, you cut deeper into the hypodermis, or in simple terms, the subcutaneous tissue, meaning the layer that's under the skin, where all of our reserves from the holidays are stored. The fat. But we're not done yet. There's another layer that we need to unfold, which is that white sheath that covers the abs. And then underneath that, we reach the muscle. During the surgery, those four layers are being lifted and right above the muscle in that pocket, the silicone is being inserted. But sometimes there's a need, according to the person's anatomy, to trim and customize the implant so it will fit exactly into the dissected pocket. In a hand in glove manner. And and that should also be trimmed to improve the implant fit and prevent movement inside the pocket. And then it's all said and done, right? Right? Not exactly. The real and final result we see only after. And probably because the surgery is still new, the results are not always perfect. I'm very, very upset with the result of this. From the bottom, less. For me, it's a big deal. I have a big deal. It ranges between seven to fifteen thousand dollars, in addition to other complications that can happen because of the surgery. But there's a problem. And it's not the surgery. Do you see this study? They took male superhero action figures, but there was a twist. They sorted all of the toys from old to new. The one on the left is from 1964, the middle one is from 1975, and the one on the right is from 1994. Results. They compared between the three and came into the conclusion that the toys became more muscular over the years. For example, the abs of the toy on the left are not even visible. The middle one already has striations and cuts, and the toy on the right looks like the statue of liberty compared to that. It has abs, serratus anterior, defined pecs, huge traps, forearms, and not just there. More figures like this from 1978 and this one from 20 years later in which the waist became narrower, the legs grew bigger and the shoulders became wider. It almost seems like they pressed the subscribe button from day one. But the message that passes from this is that the ideal of the male body changes over time. Meaning maybe this is how a child would like to look like. But when they made a comparison to human dimensions, they found that many contemporary figures far exceeded the masculinity 
majority of even the largest human bodybuilder. And although you can think this is only one study, but do you see this? That's a different study from the same researcher. They examined a lot of centerfold pages from a Playgirl magazine, where each time there was a different picture of a male. They analyzed magazines from 1973 to 1997 and presented them in a random order to a blinded rater. Results. There was a correlation between time and body fat, meaning as time went by, the fat percentage of the models in the photos decreased and they became more muscular, which again shows a trend that a male body should look a certain way, which as time passes becomes unreachable. But things aren't what they seem. Do you see that? That is a food commercial. But things are not as they really seem. That's a bowl with strawberry cereal and milk and that's a bowl with strawberry cereal and a glue. The thing is they do not sink in glue, but it's more photogenic. Those are pancakes with, you got it right, a diesel fuel. Why? It doesn't get absorbed in the pancakes. This is a strawberry cake made redder by lipstick for a commercial, compared to the usual boring much less red cake that we all eat. And you got the point. The YouTuber that you see here made a before and after photo which took him five hours to make. He got to a tanning bed, put some olive oil on his body, did some exercises for the pump, adjusted the lighting, and instead of another month of a calorie deficit, because who has time for that, did some photoshop, lost another 2% of body fat, and took the after photo. Afterwards he ate, ate some more, drank, burped, uh. drank a little bit more, got rid of the lighting, and made a before and after photo in five hours. To be honest, we did the exact same thing last Easter, before and after a meal. Therefore, not all of the things you see on social media are real. And it's important that you know that because not everyone will tell you the truth. Why? Because this study concluded that viewing pictures of idealized men on social media may not only link with muscle enhancing attitudes, but also with constant monitoring on self appearance as well as social appearance anxiety. One of the conclusions of this meta analysis media exposure was most influential in provoking the eating disorder and the internalization of thin idea. And why do we say this? Because remember, we've talked about long ago, like woohoo, three minutes about this surgery? So each and every Every one of you can do whatever she or he wants with their own body, but chasing after the perfect body is very tiring and actually impossible. And as we saw, it's not that hard to do. And our body is worth more than a few likes on IG. And you need to work out because you love your own body, not because you hate it. <laughs> Working on this video took us a very long time, but it was worth it because we're helping each and every one of you. The way you can support us is by pressing the like button, the subscribe button, and sharing this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to leave here in the comments what you would like to see in the next one, and we will see you in that one that will be even crazier than this one. Bye bye.